There were a couple of us young guys, a guy called Arno Matia, myself, and a guy called Rob Block. And we spent the better part of two seasons trying to figure out how to catch milks. Anyway, one day, just as it was, it was one of those freaky days, we uh, ended up having lunch with our guests on a channel in the St. Francois Lagoon, called, now called the Tam Tam Channel. And right next to it is a channel which we called Nirvana eventually because it was such a productive milkfish um, spot. And just one of the guests had just previously hooked a milk in the channel on a bonefish fly. So my buddy called me and said, come on, we gotta, we gotta go and have a look, had a closer look at what's going on. We swung a lefty's H2O in the current on an 8 8 at a couple of milkfish feeding, plankton feeding in the channel. Fish ate and proceeded to smoke us in the top lagoon. Ran, ran us right, right to the backing knot, jumping like crazy. And that was the that was the beginning of the milkfish deal because we realized we could catch them. And that was actually the, it was a paradigm shift. It was actually from being this mystical, mythical fish that you cannot catch to being a fish that you can catch. But you have to believe that you can catch it. So I say, we've cracked the code. And the rest is history. I'm fast. On. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is an epic session, dude. Doesn't get better than this. Did you go over the flat there? Over the flat, Jake. Yeah. You know, it changed my, my perspective on, on these fish. It's very important to, to fight them as hard as you possibly can. Use the rod to its full advantage. Yeah. Really put the, the <laughs> hammer down and, and, and show him who's boss. What a day, eh? Oh my God. One of the finest saltwater destinations on the planet, called the Seychelles. These fertile waters have been a fly fishing mecca for two and a half decades. Early anglers made the voyage in search of giant bonefish, but as gear and techniques advanced, an ambitious and largely South African guide crew pushed the limits of fly fishing by targeting a variety of new species. Anglers shifted their attention to larger, faster, and more technical species. Around 2002 and 2003, a few guides cracked the milkfish code and figured out how to consistently target and hook one of the most formidable fish on the planet. Welcome to Milkfish 101. Milkfish is the only living member of Chanadea. Chanadea. 
Chanidia. Latin is hard. Fossils of the rest of the family go back to the Cretaceous period, 145.5 million years ago. A toothless omnivore. Their diet is based on algae and invertebrates. They have a deeply forked, large tail and oversized eyes. The torpedo-shaped body is made for traveling in very shallow, warm water and capable of high-speed getaways. They don't build up lactic acid in their muscles, which translates into blistering runs. They're also capable of clearing up to 10 feet in a single jump. They inhabit portions of the Indian and Pacific Oceans and are a vital food source in Southeast Asia, with aquaculture going back roughly 800 years. They can grow to almost six feet in length, but average about a meter. This new fly fishing target is growing in popularity and anglers are learning more and more about them each season. What's interesting about milks is we don't know very much about them. This population on, on St. Francois is very unique because we're not sure where they go, when they go. We assume that they go to Madagascar to spawn, and we don't know that. That they've got this incredibly efficient hydrodynamic fin system. Their fin slots like tuna. Their head is absolutely bullet shaped so it's got this very, very tuna-like profile in the water and a very long caudal, caudal extensions. The fish doesn't have to do very much, and it's, and it's moving forward at high speed as they've got these huge eyes that are covered in adipose tissue, so they're highly sensitive, they're highly developed. There's three phases in the fight of a milkfish, which is very interesting. The first phase is usually a Chinese fire drill that's pretty chaotic. The fish eats the fly in a channel or it eats it at sea, and then it runs like crazy through the rest of its mates. It's very top and like, it jumps like mad. Some fish are, some fish jump like crazy, other fish don't jump as much. Um, you can get up to 15, 16 jumps, I think is a record on a fish. Phase two is generally when the fish breaks from the shoal and it starts um, swimming around. And it's usually heading somewhere, usually head, if they're in the lagoon, they're heading for the sea. That they know exactly which channels to go down, where the structure is, they try and break you off on the coral. Then phase three is the fish becomes a tuna and people who haven't fought a milk have no idea of what I'm talking about, but they become tuna. They fight deep um, and they just beat you up around the boat. They do death spirals for sometimes up to 45 minutes around the boat. I think I went forward on the boat to net the fish today about 40 times and didn't succeed. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty brutal, brutal regime. You know, it's time now that, uh, that everybody wakes up and realizes this is probably one of the most special game fish on the planet. I was taught how to catch milkfish, mostly offshore, and you would wait for this phenomena to take place where all the fish come together on the edges of the reef and you go out with your boat, slowly paddle it in, get the shots. We expanded that throughout the time with, with just interest on the flats and started targeting these fish on the flats, which is an unbelievable experience when you, you're kneeling down, you're praying for them to, to eat that fly. The flats fishing is still new, so, so we've tried to figure it out. You know, you're going out there, you're fishing to fish all the time, you know, thousands of fish and you fishing just to get that one fly in the right place where he actually sits down, he actually goes down on the fly and picks it up off the flats. And it's, uh, it's technical, you know, you can present to, to a thousand fish and not get to eat. And you can present to three fish and get to eat three times in a row. It's amazing, it's incredible. Fishing for milks on the flats is an incredibly difficult thing to do because it's like tantamount to fishing a a piece of alfalfa pasture to a cow. It's, um, it's a pretty, pretty daunting prospect to get the cow to eat your little alfalfa pattern. There's a huge biomass of milks here. There's very large fish and a lot of them, a lot of them are on the flats pretty permanently. Thank you.
fishing at 100, 200 fish at a time and, and all the dots are lining up, their tails are sticking out and eventually he picks it up and you, you're in shin deep water hooking up to a fish that's 40, 50 pounds, jumping straight away and that, that's, that's when it all comes together. Maybe not. Some people say milk fishermen have feelings. Okay, he's the best, best milk fisherman now. He's the best father. Yeah, he's Christ the best. He's the best father Christmas. <laughs> he does father Christmas every year. He's, <laughs> he does. He even comes in from a skiff, and all the kids run around. And yeah, last Christmas was quite funny. He like, he's like, he came off the shore, and he got it there, and you're sitting on the chair like this, and the, and the, ba the little girl came and suddenly is on, on his lap and looked at dad and said, "Hey, dad, his father Christmas always smell like alcohol." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> you should get the hook up and swim out. Are you shooting it? Oh, I'm doing a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Do you, did you see the uh, me shotgunning it with my teeth trick? You were there for that, yeah? It's pretty good at film this. That's been in basically every single film we've ever made. We can't buckle him though. Oh, way more. I lost, I lost, I lost. But he just. That was not. You can't see him because he's wearing his camera. So he's yeah, he's yeah, a floating yeah. head. Stop. 
stop yet. Here is stop yet. Here is stop. Put the starfish in. Here is stop. I'm not stop. No, you take the flies. Then I got flies on me. <laughs> got flies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a man pyramid of clouds. Got <laughs> you. That's a good idea. I like that idea. Paradise FM. <laughs> <laughs> We need to get up to that line again, then we're gonna hook up. Are they feeding on coca pops? Because I'll jump in there and fucking hook you up. Come on, hook some hold that. What? Coca pops? Don't move, you're holding like $30,000. Don't fucking move. What? You mean this? Are you going tight too? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, right? Did you get that every it's funny recording? Because it's not recording the whole time. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Even the part. <laughs> Did you really? Oh my god. She's gonna be so mad. <laughs> That's a, yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> so, hey, double tap. In your mouth. <laughs> okay, so we've got the gecko ready to net Mulkies. He's on the net. We want to get the viewers amped about this. We want to talk a little bit about the film crew. You know, obviously, um, Yako and I go back a long way. You know, we uh, we guided for five or six years together. You know, AKA um, Austin, Texas. Um, I've never met him before. You can put a couple back, he's a pretty good cameraman. What do you think of it? Yes, this is you fucking... This is like the fucking off, right? boondock saints. Take you off. fucking out. No oh, shit, right? I know. <laughs> What's making that sound? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like it. Oh, Snake, 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 snake. Yes, it's Ark. Okay, it's beaten. Beaten. Okay. I don't catch a lot of fish, but when I do, I like to catch milk fish. Here, when you're a little bit of a girl. It's an eight, eight rate. Can we go back in a point, Dev? Um, we can most probably <laughs> tail him, eh? <laughs> no, pretty neat. Go tail him? Net, 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 that's a bleed fucking out, net. Jelle all two is so fucking. Ek moe, ek. Jelle all two pak slam in die net. Met die net. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Yeah, like we don't, we done. Oh, come on. Can we do more? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we got, we got you. Yeah. Good work.